That's right. Black Power, I'm in the house, y'all. It's the General Sarasu and Sadi, and I'm black at y'all ass again with this real fucking talk. I got a file on you niggas. Yeah, I got a file on you crackers. Yeah. I got a file on you niggas. Yeah, I got a file on you crackers. That's right. I got a file on you. You see what I'm saying? I'm in the house, family. I had to, you know what I'm saying? People say, damn, Seti, we, we thought you had let, let up off these niggas, man. Seti ain't never coming up off of these niggas. Never coming up off of these niggas, dog. Keep my motherfucking foot on their neck. You understand what I'm saying? New and improved, baby. I got to come with the new and improved. You understand what I'm saying? I don't just put shit up on the shelf, nigga. I evolved the lecture. I become one with the lecture. You see what I'm saying? So if niggas thought that, you know, I just put it up on the shelf and that I ain't updating my shit, you, you're sorely mistaken, nigga. You're, so, you're sorely mistaken. Let me get my, my, my uh, my screen up here. That's right. Let me get my goddamn screen up here. I'm in the house, family. I got a file on you niggas. Yeah, I got a file on you crackers. That's right. Got some, I, I'm on all the smoke. I got all, I'm on all the smoke. You see what I'm saying? She, niggas say, damn, you know what I'm saying? And we just got a few niggas to sign up at our YMCA metal net of class just this fucking week and hear this nigga go again. I got two niggas to sign up for my metal nutty class, and after they hear this nigga said it, they gonna want a motherfucking refund. Ain't that a damn shame? Say niggas can't even, you know what I'm saying? Niggas can't even get a couple dollars and shit no more. You understand what I'm saying? I'm only doing it because it's true. I'm only doing it because it's the truth, family. I wouldn't just make the shit up now. I'm sick of you, Negro. I am. I'm sick of. Black power to all my family out there, all over the fucking world. Y'all know I'm with you, 100%. Love being, being a teacher for my people. Love coming out here, busting these motherfucking shots for the culture. You know, evolving the community. You understand? Because if we hadn't came and cracked motherfuckers' head, niggas would still be out here dumbfounded about what direction that they go. You see what I'm saying? And I come on in, family. Go get some niggas. I know they out there. Watching that bullshit ass basketball game. I don't give a fuck about no more niggas with no bouncing, no balls, and none of that shit. Fuck all that. I ain't got no time for that. I'm done. I'm done with that. Come on out, family. We got we got to get the family out. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, the reason is we have to keep, you know what I'm saying, uh evolving the lecture. I wouldn't never, you know, I've been, I, I was doing research on the matter. You know, I pull out all my lectures at given times. And when I pull them out, I update. You understand? It'd be information that's always swirl. And I put that shit right on it. And it's right in, in exact. So when it come time for any nigga that really want to think, they don't want no smoke because they know what it is. Nigga, I'm the metal netter killer. And nigga, you understand? I put the metal netter, nigga, I put the metal netter. In, a, in chalk lines. You understand what I'm saying? I put the metal, nah, I want people to, I want, I want it to be clear. Cause this is what people try to do. And I'm gonna let you know ahead of time. They act as if, see they try to tie, hear me out, and I want y'all to understand it. That there is no disrespect to the ancestors glyphs at all, okay? At all. The glyphs and the language of our ancestors is sacred. Uh, but that fake ass transliteration, translation, 
or whatever other line unscientific uh, 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 title you want to give it is not the same, okay? The glyph is on the wall. The shit that's coming up out your mouth isn't. And so I want to clearly separate that. You understand? I understand that the two are not the same and never will be the same. So when you, you know, that's when, you know, niggas always say, why do you disrespect? The, 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 no, the, the matter that is your shit. See, the writers is going to be on the wall forever. And the writing didn't say shit to you. See, you the one went up there and applied the audio. The glyph didn't say shit, okay? And I'm going to prove to y'all today that everything that's coming out of these niggas' mouth is false. Now, another thing. I understand the righteous intent of our people. I understand that. And when I hear my people express what they see on the wall, when they express it from a righteous intent, I respect that. But that don't mean that's what's up on the wall, even though I respect you, okay? That don't mean that's what's up on the wall. That's what your interpretation of what you see up on the wall, see? And that's a, it's a difference. You see what I'm saying? It's a big motherfucking difference. And I want people to understand that. Uh, let me, let me, let me, these is prerequisites that I must state before I even get started. Okay? So you, what it, what it, what it boiled down to. Okay? What it boiled down to. For most of the known, for most of the known time when you know the understanding of the egyptian hieroglyphs even when you go back to the greeks most most if not all the so-called ancient greeks okay and i i don't validate them at all either but these are supposedly the most ancient writers of the, the european world when it's dealing with Thales, it's dealing with uh, uh, Pythagoras, uh, when it's dealing with Socrates and Aristotle and Plato, even Solon, all of these are fictitious. But at the same time, whoever created those individuals wrote what they thought about ancient Egypt. Okay? And for the majority of the world, the, what you what you call the Medunata was esoterical, which means it was a secret language. And in order for you to get the meaning of that language, you would have had to be initiated into the system to get the understanding. So what you have today, well, I'm gonna just say starting with the uh with the uh invasion of Egypt, you see what I'm saying, by Napoleon. At that time, at that time, they felt it was a need to seize control of ancient Egypt. But the only way that they could do that is to profess that they knew what the ancient Egyptians was talking about. So you talking about from the time of the closing of ancient or uh, the temples in ancient Egypt by uh the Byzantine emperor or uh, Justinian closing the temple. Wait a minute, I got my timeline right here. Ain't no sense of just you understand what I'm saying? Ain't no just just guessing. We got it right here. Okay. They closed the temples in 397 BC. So up until that time, from 397 BC to the 1700s AD, it was taught that the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs was an esoterical language. Only with the, 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 the French, Napoleon, and the English, somehow it became alphabetical. See? 
it became alphabetical. How it happened, I don't know. You see what I'm saying? How it happened, I don't know. But see, now they trying to seize because they stealing everything about, we got to understand number one, and I put a lot of niggas on blast for this. You see what I'm saying? Many niggas cr credit Champelion, which is a Frenchman, okay? He, 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 he's one of the, he one of the lieges. He, he in league with Napoleon, okay? And, you know, he's accredited with deciphering. Even though it was a couple of others that came before him, he was the one that supposedly broke the code. Okay, Champelion. Okay, the Frenchman. And at the same time, they give him credit for deciphering the, the, the Medunet. And I see, this is where this black power shit don't mean nothing. See what I'm saying? You, you know, it don't mean, because at the same time, Champelion and Napoleon is in there stealing out of Egypt, raping Egypt. They also in Haiti committing one of the most vicious genocides on our people anywhere in the world to the point where they tired of it. And then so um, one of the most, you know, extraordinary revolutions of the modern time in I in I eight was, you know, was taking place and they just deposed the French, pushed them out. See, I got to lay the work for this. You understand what I'm saying? So it, it you, we got our people down here fighting the French. They, in, they got slavery all over Africa, see? And, and, and the same people that's pillaging the artifacts, pillaging the people, pillaging country, African countries all over the, the, the continent, these same French motherfuckers, they gave credit for fucking deciphering the sacred language. We're not, listen to me. And that's, that's key. Because we got to hear what the fuck we saying. This is the sacred language. This is not the common language, family. This is not the common language. This is the sacred language. And motherfucker, and Champelion is the Christ figure. See, niggas got white, white Christ syndrome. Okay, white Christ syndrome. You see, they take Jesus down and they put another cracker up there somewhere. You understand what I'm saying? So the same Negroes, Nigopolians, I call them Nigopolians, because they want to justify Champelion doing what is impossible for him to do. See, I'm gonna I'm get I'm gonna get busy. I'm just warming up tonight. What what is impossible for him to do? It got to be known that some languages are just not decipherable. Okay. Nobody ever, you see, nobody ever put it on the table, whether it was even decipherable. You see what I'm saying? And once you realize that the, the hieroglyphs are symbols, and unless somebody defines to you what that symbol is, and it got to be the organization that produced the symbol, they got to give you a legend. They got to give you a key of every damn glyph. Okay, and nobody's gonna do that. See, and so here it is, you got people that are trying to put letters, okay, next to a symbol. And I didn't went over this shit a thousand fucking times that a letter cannot render the meaning of a symbol. Cannot do it. You see what I'm saying? That right there, you know what I'm saying? Is it and so. The thing is, they didn't bum rush the language because you don't have primary verification. Who could give you primary verification? The priest who wrote it on the wall, the priest who wrote it on the on the stone, the priest that put it on the papyrus is, is the only one that could verify whether you right or wrong. Nobody else. You see what I'm saying? And so it's almost like when you go to play the lotto. You see what I'm saying? Uh, primary verification is the, uh, that's the power ball. You can't even hit the motherfucker if you ain't got the power ball. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, nigga, you come up there 
with two fucking numbers. You come up there with two numbers. You need five plus the power bar. You see what I'm saying? You got one number, and you talking about you hit, and you ain't even got the power bar. You ain't even got primary verification. You see what I'm saying? And so, in essence, this show you, if, pe if we don't stop these niggas, because they going deeper and deeper and dragging niggas deeper and deeper and deeper in, when, it, when once you acknowledge, number one, and I love this, I love getting on these Negroes. You understand what I'm saying? Once you acknowledge that is esoterical, and I could prove that we're gonna just go to the, I'm gonna start with the Greeks, and then I'm gonna jump on, I'm gonna jump back on Champelli. I'm gonna start with the Ptolemies, okay? I'm gonna start, and we're gonna get on the visuals in a minute, because that's gonna just back it up and just crack their head. You see, now, what the methodology that they used to try to decipher the metal matter was by taking the Greek rulers. See, if they had like the Rosetta Stone, and I went there to see it my damn self, and that shit looked like somebody could have made that shit in their basement. You got this big ass stone, and the glyphs look like they chiseled them in with a toothpick. You see what I'm saying? And so when I looked at all the, you know, as, as I looked over ancient Egypt, you know, I usually saw, you know, where they was very, you know, they cut into them rocks deep. You know what I'm saying? And when I looked at the Rosetta Stone, shit, I said, well, damn, the, 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 the front part where the damn glyphs is was so thin like this. But the rest of the motherfucking stone, like, you know, I said, well, what the fuck would you put all that stone back there for them little scribbly ass glyphs? You understand what I'm saying? You know, but, you know, uh, back to the Ptolemy. See, people don't know that supposedly the ruler, the Ptolemy that was responsible for the Rosetta Stone was uh, Ptolemy Soter's grandson. You understand? Ptolemy the third. That was the one that built the Serapium. You see what I'm saying? So you got to understand that the Rosetta Stone supposedly is in veneration of Serapis, okay? You got to understand that. You understand? People not bringing that fact out. You see what I'm saying? Here we go again with that Serapis shit. But let it be known through all the research that I did, that I did, hear me out is that the, the Greeks could not read or write any Medunet, ancient Egyptian, at all. And when you look at the, the just look at the met methodology that I'm gonna show you, where they took the Greek rulers' names and superimposed them to a cartouche. The Ptolemies could have did that, God damn. You know, y'all act like when you look at what they did how, and how they did it and how they came up with the alphabet, only thing that they did was the so-called Greek, the so-called Greek, where they could read one of the so-called Greek rulers' name, they took that name and they superimposed it on the closest motherfucking cartouche. Okay? I'm going to get busy in a minute. Okay? Now. Once you, that's what Shep, that was, that's what Thomas Young did. That's what uh, Champollion did. They took the, they took the Greek ruler's name and they looked up and superimposed it on the first, the closest cartoons that they could find. Now ask yourself, as thirsty as the Ptolemies was to steal all the wisdom of ancient Egypt, as thirsty as the Greeks were to steal all the knowledge of ancient Egypt, don't you think they would have went up there and done that shit if they thought that that would have got, you know, opened up the damn, the knowledge of ancient Egypt just by taking their own names and super, shit, they could have forced one of the priests to do that. You understand that? That was too simplistic. 
See what I'm saying? So when you look at the math, it's not some great methodology. You understand what I'm saying? It's not a and the killing thing about it for people who know it, and I'm just warming you up. And I'm gonna get back. So when you get to it, you know, questions that I ask. Because if that was his name in the fucking cartouche, why didn't they have a cartouche down in the Greek or the demotic if it was the same? See what I'm saying? Why did you know it's just questions that you can add, ask that add even more irrelevance to what they trying to prove. You see what I'm saying? So the fact is, you know, supposedly on the last line of the Greek, hear me out. You see how they do? You see how they do us? You see how they do us? Supposedly on the Rosetta stuff. On the last line of the supposed Greek, it says that all three scripts are the same. Okay? But since the Greeks couldn't read or speak ancient African Egyptians, how the fuck could they prove it if they wanted to? In order, if, if it all said the same, the only way that the Greek could prove it is to go to the fucking metal netter. And, and talk it out and show us how it mean the same thing. But since the Greeks could not read or write ancient Egypt, it was no way that they could prove it. That's some fake shit. Oh, it, it say the same thing. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. How the fuck do you, can you prove that? You see what I'm saying? And another thing, when we talk about institution, we talking today, family. Usually an institution, you're going to find more than one, you know, artifact. You didn't find two artifacts. You understand? You didn't find the Rosetta Stone. You didn't find another stone, supposedly, uh, the uh, Stella Canopsis and some other shit. Okay? It, that's quite clear that there was no bilingual Greeks, no bilingual Egyptians or none of that. You see what I'm saying? Because there is no evidence of this type of relationship. You see what I'm saying? Why am I stressing the Greeks? If y'all niggas know 48, the, the uh, show 48 hours, they, you know, they tell you nigga, that yo, if you don't solve that motherfucking crime in the first 48 hours, Nigga, your chances of solving it is cut in half. So the Greeks is the first 48 hours for the European to try to come up with any decipherment. Why is that? Number one, the language is living. You ain't got to do all of this fumbling that motherfuckers is doing. You can ask the motherfucking priests what the fuck it mean. Number one, okay? You can ask the priest. What it means. So right there, I'm, I'm, and I'm going to get, I got the latest shit out. You can, you know, that's primary research right there. You getting it from a primary source. You not coming 2,000 years after the fucking language is no longer spoken. And again, it's an esoterical language. So it's not even about, you know, whether it's being spoken or not, motherfucker, unless you have been given the legend or the glimpse. And, uh, and I'm going to go over that again. Then you cannot understand it. But the fact that you think, you see what I'm saying, that you can come 2,000 years, all the people, and you cannot take another. See what the Negro, and let me tell you all, sir, this is how they fooling y'all. Because once you understand that it's esoterical, you cannot put no language, not even an African language. You can't put no alphabet because we got to be clear about one thing, that not all Africans was afforded the wisdom of the hieroglyphs. It was a secret language only given to the priests, and they went up in grades, okay? So now you can't just go get no, no alphabetical common African language and think you're going to Take the Latin. See, that's nigger fine the shit. See, they fooling y'all by going in here and you know and still speak. You can't be spoken, goddammit, because it's an esoterical language. 
You got to know the meanings of the glyphs. And you cannot go put no damn alpha, no, no letters and shit on it. Huh? You cannot go put no letters on it and render the meaning. Nigga, and then I'm going to show you that none of this shit ever matched up letter for letter no damn way. You understand what I'm saying? And they slick. Oh, how slick they are. You understand what I'm saying? When you look at a lot of the translations, you see what I'm saying? I'm going to show you how they jump from Greek to Latin and don't even tell y'all that this ain't, you know, they no longer using Greek no more. Because if you saw the fucking ain't, the supposed Greek, that and you look at they goddamn letters, that's going to fuck it up even worse. So today they use, they, they are spelling out Ptolemy, but they're using Latin. That's not Greek. So how the fuck did y'all jump to motherfucking Latin all of a sudden? And y'all don't understand that every time the first motherfucking interpretation is fraudulent, but every time you put another motherfucking cut on it, you're going deeper and deeper and deeper in. Ooh, they some cold-blooded motherfuckers. That shit just like, and, and, and the same thing they did to the Egyptian hierarchy is the same shit they did to the Yiddish with that Hebrew and shit. You understand what I'm saying? And how slick they is. I'm going to show y'all where they put uh, Coptic, which is bastard Greek, and niggas want to act like it's the last, uh, the last stage of ancient Egyptian. Lying asses. That shit ain't nothing but some Arab. Coptic is related to Arabic. And, the, and when you look it up, it say Afro-Asiatic. You see what I'm saying? That's the back door that they leave for the, you know, the Arabs and the, and the fucking Hebrews and, and the Jews and the junk to come through the back door and seize it. See what I'm saying? It don't have nothing to do with none of that shit. You understand what I'm saying? All of that shit is a setup, okay? I'm, a, I'm, I'm throwing shit out here, and you could go do the research. You understand what I'm saying? If you look at most of them motherfuckers that's Egyptologists, before there was even a department of Egyptology, you know what they was before they was an e I'm talking about Champollion. I'm talking about Henry Breasted and... And the rest of them motherfuckers, you know what they were? They was Orientalists. You see what I'm saying? That's why when you go to Chicago, you see that they are where they keep all of the Egyptian artifacts in Chicago. What's the name? The Oriental Institute of Chicago. You see what I'm saying? That's why they always try to relate it back to Mesopotamia because most of the motherfuckers that became Egyptologists was first Orientalists. I'm sick of you motherfucker. You gonna give me, nigga, I'm snatching my ancestor, ancestor's legacy back from you whole ass niggas. You niggas is niggapoleans. You niggas verify the rape of our ancestors' sacred language by the same peg of woods that's committing genocide on our people all over Africa, stealing the artifacts. You might as well justify the artifacts being in the museum. You might as well justify the millions of motherfucking murders that these people is committing on the people who legacy they stealing. Shame on you. How the fuck can y'all niggas root for Champollion, who is a fucking henchman for Napoleon, and they raping Africa the way they do? Y'all niggas is, is just traded. Y'all niggas will ride with it. That just show me, man. How, and then the same niggas will run up in a, 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 a black revolutionary uh, uh, lecture and all that be talking about Dessaline, Bookman, Tucson, and then run right up and go to the motherfucking metal netter language class down at the YMCA and put the motherfucking Champelli on up on the pedestal as the motherfucking Christ figure with Egyptology. You understand what I'm saying? See, people don't understand that when you when we start, I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing some shit out there for you. That Egyptology as a science start with the supposed decipherment of the language. That's key. Because when you destroy the so-called Medunetta, and when I say destroyed, I'm not talking about the sacred. I had to keep saying that. See, they gonna try to, that's a magic that they putting on you, nigga. See, they tie the 
the mouthing of them, the so-called, with the actual glyphs. I'm separated. The glyphs are sacred, but the, the supposed fraudulent decipherment and speaking of the goddamn language is not. Okay, I'll just go and I'm gonna be clear about that again and a goddamn again and a goddamn again. Okay, so as I move into this, I'm about to go into some of the glyphs, I mean, into some of the uh, images, and we're going to get busy today, hitting hard. Any motherfucker that want to, you know what I'm saying, want to get off in, in the game. But let me get back to the first 48 hours. And you know what I'm saying? What the Ptolemies had that nobody else had. They had living Africans. See, the, 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 the temples hadn't been closed down yet. So they could go straight to the horse's mouth. They could go straight to the Egyptian priest and ask them. That's what Champelion never and none of these fake motherfuckers have. And we, when you talking about research, see that shit is not primary. We, wait a minute, let me, man, I'm about to light y'all motherfuckers up today. I could just freestyle the ass whooping on you niggas. Uh, when we talking about research, see, the rope and the Rosetta Stone is, I'm, I'm just going to push that, but I'll use it because I'm going to just use it. If it's real, if it's real, the Rosetta Stone would be a primary artifact. What does primary mean? It was created during the time and period. It got to be a time period of the Ptolemies. It can't go no further than that now. You see what I'm saying? So you 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 really cannot use it to translate nothing previous before the Ptolemies. It's to a strict period. Okay, so in the age of the Ptolemies, because it was written by the, you know, it was supposedly uh, uh, com commissioned by the third Ptolemy. Okay, that, so that's a primary artifact for the age of the third Ptolemy. Nothing else, okay? But the so-called translation, as we know what a secondary reference is, a secondary reference uses primary references. I went over that. So even though the Rosetta Stone might be considered a primary reference, the fucking translation is a secondary reference. Because it used a primary reference to make a motherfucking interpretation. Y'all fuckers don't even know how to do research. So the translation is still a secondary reference. And it's a fraudulent secondary reference on at that. Okay? So we're doing, we're talking about primary. You see what I'm saying? So when you, it's just like when you commit a crime, what do they do? When the, the hook get there, what they do? They court off the crime area because they know motherfuckers gonna be walking through it, dropping shit that wasn't there. You understand what I'm saying? And so what do you do? You, you, you contaminate. You're contaminating the motherfucking the scene. You see what I'm saying? You're contaminating the scene. If you don't, you, if you don't, uh, uh, if you don't uh, solve the crime at a certain amount of time, you see what I'm saying? Say, for instance, the eyewitnesses were elders. Well, you ain't got too much time to get in touch with them because if you die, if they die, you lose eyewitnesses. Each moment that go by, you lose the opportunity to, to you know, to make a primary discovery, a discovery that happened at the time or, the, or, or whatever said time period in which you're dealing with, okay? So, Champollion didn't have no access whatsoever, nor did Thomas Young or any white Egyptologist, they have no access to primary reference. That's what destroys it. It's just like, nigga, you just saying it is be, because, you, you know, you the authority over the world at this time. But based on research and, and fact, and when people point this shit out to people on fact, you see what I'm saying? Just like, you know, 
It's crimes that have been committed damn now 50 years ago. That's just like that motherfucker that killed Emmett Till. I don't know if they got that motherfucker before he died or not. You understand what I'm saying? But the longer and longer you wait, people die off. And when the, uh, pe the original people die off, that witness, you don't have no primary reference. So again, the, the, the Ptolemy, the Greeks are the first 48 hours because they have access to primary fucking reference. They got primary artifact. They got the living language. They have the living, it's still being spoken and the access to the key and legend to the glyph is still there. So we expecting to see some type of, you know, decipherment but by the Ptolemies. But we didn't see that. So when we look at the first 48 hours, the Greeks never, and, and they was there for 300 years. You, you know how they got a, a, a English to Spanish, Spanish to English dictionary? You would have you would have thought that they had would have made something like that at that time. Okay, but there is no evidence that any Greeks ever knew any ancient Egyptian, none whatsoever. So the primary time period where you had to make any decipherment, any translation, any tra you blew it. Your first 48 hours is over. Okay, so the Ptolemies didn't get shit. So what is your next 48 hours? The Romans. The Romans is the last 48 hours of the Medunet. Okay, of uh, any type. And even by by time they came along, you understand what I'm saying? Coptic was, you know what I'm saying, starting, you know. And let me tell y'all something. Coptic ain't nothing but bastardized Greek. Okay, I'm going to get off into that. You see what I'm saying? The, the Coptics are Serapis worshippers. These are the niggas, mixed breed niggas. That's all the fuck they is, mixed breed niggas. The boule or the ancient, the first boule, nothing more than the fraternities and sorority, because just like the fraternities and sororities adopted Greek lettering, this is what the Coptics did. They gave up their ancient African traditions. You understand what I'm saying? To adopt the Greek language. What African, pure blood African, that know he a God and she knows she would give up their fucking sacred language for some bullshit Greek? Listen to that. You see what I'm saying? So why did they, because they was mixed breed Greeks any goddamn way. So, it, so they are fifth column in Egypt. That's why they say it's the same. It was the last stage of. Hey, that's a fucking lie. You understand what I'm saying? That's a back door into stealing our damn. And any Negro that teaches that shit is a damn lie. How in the hell is a damn Coptic? What happened to all the other Africans up to now that didn't speak Coptic? That been interchanging with e Egypt over the last ten thousand fucking years? Did they just forget? The fucking language that they was discoursing with the Egyptians, they wasn't speaking no goddamn Coptic. So how in the fuck is Coptic the last stage of ancient Egypt? You some silly Negroes. You some silly Negroes. Silly, 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 silly Negroes to say some shit like that. They grew Coptic with Arabic and fucking Ar Aramaic and. You understand what I'm saying? And the crazy shit about it, let me tell y'all something. I was studying, and I'm talking about, I don't play no game. I went into all, I went to study all the major Egyptologists that in the fucking world. You understand what I'm saying? I studied over 30 of the top ancient Egyptian uh, Egyptologists. Uh, Samuel Birch, who was the first who was the first fucking curator of the fucking uh, London Museum. He was the first curator of the London Museum. And this motherfucker had a degree in Chinese. He didn't, listen, they didn't even have no department for Egyptologists. Motherfucking, most of these motherfuckers that he was, was uh, homeschooled. The motherfuckers didn't even have a public school education. 
they just bestowed some goddamn degree on the motherfucker. Samuel Birch, who, like I said, was the first curator of the Berlin Museum. You understand what I'm saying? He the one taught Gerald Massey. Motherfuckers always talking about Gerald Massey and Gerald Massey and Egypt, light of the world and all that. Samuel Birch is the one that trained Gerald Massey and Samuel Birch was a, had a fucking degree in Chinese. He was talking about the glyphs came from China. This is where these niggas was talking all this crazy ass shit. You see what I'm saying? And I, you know, and to, you know, to see all the the convergence of motherfuckers, but they was all, and you know what he was, what his degree was, Oriental. He was an Orientalist. You understand what I'm saying? So these motherfuckers first was trying to prove Mesopotamia, and people wonder why that they always try to synchronize Mesopotamia, Egypt with Mesopotamia. But they always make Mesopotamia a little older than Egypt to explain why is that? Because the people that wrote that shit was Orientalists. They were still trying to have supremacy in the Bible. They created a lot of that fucking reverse engineered that shit. Listen here, man. Y'all niggas is shocking. Y'all would think that when you see motherfuckers talking about Amen and the reason why. They say amen because it was an ancient. That's a damn lie. Nigga, they reverse engineer. Once you understand, you understand that it's, it's esoterical. You cannot prove what the fuck an ancient Egyptian vowel consonant, what it fucking sounded like. So how the fuck you know that name was Amen? You don't know that. You was you ride it with it. And so what they did, they were slick. They reverse engineered the shit. Because that gives validation to what the fuck. They didn't went in there and say they found Israel on the uh, Mernapatah stone. How, how fucking uh, uh, co uh, coincidental. You understand what I'm saying? That they would find Israel on a fucking stone and goddamn. Because the Jews, they're not telling y'all that the majority of the linguists came out of Germany. Man, listen, I don't fuck with none of them niggas, man. I don't fuck with all them niggas that talk that shit. I don't fuck with them. Because they is not telling y'all the motherfucking truth. The majority of all the linguists, the motherfuckers that created the, the so-called man, are German, from Germany. And they Jews. Y'all some fuck niggas, man. Straight up. And I'm a, and I could prove that. And so I'm just warming y'all up to that. They reverse engineered that shit. You know what I'm saying? I even went in. Why do you think when you hear hey Ruth? You understand what I'm saying? It's so close to Hercules. Hera, 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 you know, Horus and shit. You understand? Heracles and Hera and all of that shit. They even got Seti in the fucking Nordic fucking uh language you understand what i'm saying i said how the fuck did it get up there you understand what i'm saying because these goddamn german motherfuckers been reverse engineering that motherfucking language i ain't got to play no games with y'all i go 100 when i say this shit so they 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 create the metal matter make it seem like it's the L and so that validates the goddamn bible y'all some fool ass niggas i'm gonna wake y'all up tonight so again the Ptolemies is the first 48 hours. The Romans is the last 48 hours. If you don't get it within the time of the Romans, you, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it because these motherfuckers close. And so to, for me, when Justinian, and I'm going to get into the glyphs because I can't just jump right in. When Justinian, Closed the Egyptian temples. That for me was the fact that they could, the Africans would not render them no knowledge of the sacred writings. And because they, because if they could have got it, they would have got it. If they could have got the knowledge on how to build and, and that's the, that, that just ends it. I don't want to hear nothing about no motherfucker than decipher, no motherfucking 
the sacred language of our ancestors because that is the writings that uh, or the information that gave our people the ability to build that great civilization that we know as the Nile Valley civilization. And if you cannot duplicate it, then you have not translated. I'm gonna say that again. If you cannot duplicate it, then you have not translated. And that's the end because we could go on and on. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna hit y'all niggas hard tonight. It ain't gonna be no way for you to recover. I guarantee you it would be no way for you to, but the final, just to end it all, if they say they know it, then they should be able to duplicate it. Every fucking video where I see one of them pecker woods go to ancient Egypt, and when it comes to trying to, you know, explain how it's done, they still do not know how our family put them pyramids and them great structures in that sand as large and metallic, metallic, me megalithic as they are okay they still do not know so how the fuck is you still dumbfounded or how they did it and yet it's still you you swear you have translated the language motherfucker that's that's hypocritical you understand what i'm saying so we got to take back our ancestors sacred writings we got to take it back we got to we got to peel the european poison off the top of it and that's a, and any Negro, Negro, uh, Negro poly, nigga poly. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I call all the medu, the medu netter nigga, nigga poly. You see what I'm saying? Who's trying to justify because they know, let me hear you out. They know that when you take Champelion and you pull the rug from up under Champelion, the whole house go crashing in. And so they are going to defend Champelion with they like they because they you ask any of them are you using the Champelion methodology you see what i'm saying and if they tell you they're not they lying only thing they gonna do is where he might have used some coptic or they they gonna try to add some african or whatever another african language but once you understand and i'm about to go to the visual once you understand that is esoterical that the language is a secret language only administered to the priests you understand what i'm saying and that symbols have you know storehouses of information attached to them you understand what i'm saying Eddie? you know what i'm saying when you see a uh, uh caduceus you understand that represents medicine but how do you put a letter on the caduceus to render you all the different branches of medicine. It's goddamn, you got surgery, you got orthopedic medicine, you got motherfucking uh, 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 the baby, what they call the, uh, all the different branches of medicine, okay? You ain't gonna put no motherfucking ladder on the caduceus, which is a symbol, and think it's gonna render you some motherfucking information, you dumbass fool. Goddamn, man, I'm sick of this shit. But today, let me get some water because I'm heated on this shit. This I know it to be a fact. And once I go into it, I guarantee you the, today, but uh, tomorrow, I'm just going to deal with the Egyptologists. I'm going to run down their history to show you why these niggas have never discussed the resume of all of it. And they, and they have taken from them. You understand what I'm saying? They have not explained to y'all this shit. And it, you know why? Because them bitch niggas didn't know. Them motherfuckers been mouthing off some shit, and, you know, without being put on the goddamn spot, but they ass is being put on the motherfucking spot today. I'm closing down all YMCA Meduneta classes. Any one of you niggas got to be a big one. You've been running because you know I done already took the, I done took the heat. I done took the smoke out of that shit. Nigga, y'all niggas don't want no smoke. You know what I'm saying? But I have to keep banging on you niggas because y'all just still out here, still misleading the people. And I, somebody got to come and clear this shit up. Let me get some water, family. I'm hot. Don't you go no motherfucking where. I might do this shit for three days. I'm going to go down the line on these niggas. And I'm going to carpet bomb every week 
a piece of information that these niggas didn't put out to their ass is no more. We have to do this because if, if they got, they up in the holy of holy. Y'all don't see how foul that is when a white boy can go up into the holy of holies and say, he, your, he might as well be your God. If he can decipher your sacred language, he and your holy of holies, and you say he's the man, then, then this motherfucker is your God. This motherfucker, Jesus. You niggas then took down Jesus and put up Champollion. Shame on you, nigga ponies. I'm here today. Let me get this water, and we're going straight to the motherfucking image. I mean that, black pop. Weak niggas. Weak. I got to get this. I want all the smoke. I want all the smoke today. I want all the smoke. I don't care who it is. I want to give a shout out to the Grandmaster Teacher, Walter Williams. I want to give a shout out to the Grandmaster Teacher, Walter Williams. I want to give a shout out to the Grandmaster Teacher, Walter Williams. I want to put his name in the air while he's here and thank him, you know, so very much, you know, for opening up my eyes. And even though, you know, I had already had, was already going in that direction. And these niggas know I've been firing off on that shit for the last 10 years. You understand what I'm saying? But he gave me some key information. And when he gave it, I say, I be damned. He broke y'all motherfuckers back. And then General Sara Sun said he came in so dynamic. Now, nah, nigga, you in trouble, nigga, because I didn't add it on to it. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't add it on to it because that's all I needed was an alley-oop. Walter Williams threw me an alley-oop, and bitch, I done told the goddamn backboard down. You understand what I'm saying? That's, thank you, Walter Williams, for throwing me that alley-oop. Now, it's, it's over. Let me get this goddamn lecture up here. Let me get this lecture up here. Let me get this lecture up here. And where I want to go with. It. I don't want to deal with none of that. I'm going to deal with that tomorrow. Hold on, family. Because I done been given a lot of uh, uh, lecture, and so I don't want to come back with no more lecture. Now, I'm going to start right here. Oh, shit. I didn't even share the damn screen. Let me share the screen. I'm hot on you niggas. That hurt, man. It hurt niggas. You know what I'm saying? It hurt motherfuckers for me to be able to do this. And then I got this other, uh, this video I'm going to show y'all. Now, this is coming from Wallace Bunch. I got it, baby. This is the Rosetta Stone. Baby, go get the book. And as y'all can see, the stone is on the book. And the supposed last uh, script is the Greek. And then you got the top part, toe off, toe off. You don't know what the hell it said at the top where the damn glyphs were. You don't know. And so you got a you got a uh, a broken artifact where the primary piece, which is the top piece, is missing. You don't even have the top piece. Now, listen to what uh Wallace Buzz said. He says stri strictly speaking, all the letters of the Egyptian alphabet are consonant. I want to stop there because once we understand that the left, and I'm gonna stop him right there. I don't want to go no further. Once you understand that the the medunet or the what you call the glyphs are esoterical, how the fuck when he say all the letters of the Egyptian alphabet are consonants, how the fuck could you prove it? You don't know what is a vowel. You don't know what is a consonant because you don't have no primary vernacular. 
So that, see, they playing with motherfuckers. How the hell you know what the hell is a consonant or what is a vowel? How do you know? So they don't know. But what they, so I'm going to move on. Strictly speaking, all the letters of the Egyptian alphabet are consonant. Just as, as are the letters of the Hebrew, Syriac, and Alpha, Arabic alphabet. See there? See how slick they is? See that how slick they is? So right there, they give they giving the Hebrew a the Syriac and the Arabic a, a, a backdoor into the Medunet because they got a similarity. They are they 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 are a family of languages. So this is where they're gonna start creating this fucking uh uh Afro-Asiatic language. Wallace Bud, Wallace Budge ain't nothing but an Ori. He was an Orientalist too. Okay, I'm gonna get on his head too. All right. In reading a text, the Egyptian reader himself supplied the vowel. You hear that? In a, so you ain't supposed to have, even though that's a fraudulent methodology anyway, it's even fraud, even more fraudulent within the fraudulent methodology to add vibes, okay? And it is for this reason that we shall never know accurately how the Egyptians pronounce their words. I'm, man, that's almost like, man, when the motherfucking thief tell you that you can't, and so the nigga gonna take the white man shit and say, no, yes you can. He's the thief. And so they trying to clean the thief shit up to, because they didn't built their house on it. You understand? And so if the thief, you know, as soon as the thief fall, they fall. So they got to prop the damn thief up. That's shameful, man. That's shameful. So even when the white boy ain't got an excuse for himself, the, the nigga Polian gonna create a, a fucking excuse for the white boy. Let me go down here. In translating Egyptian words, I have often added an E, as the cops seem to have done. For otherwise, the words are unpronounceable. Okay, so the question becomes, when all you crazy niggas out there is out there uh, and ho-tepping and motherfucking this and that and, and speak, some niggas will speak a whole goddamn book of shit. I say, what the fuck is this nigga doing? You understand what I'm saying? The white boy done already told you what it is. It's his shit. It's his fraudulent methodology. And so how the fuck is a nigga gonna come and clean up the white boy's fraudulent methodology and tell him he wrong? Because they standing on his motherfucking shoulders and as soon as he fall, they fall. You niggas is dumb for, man. So we done already identify number one that you can't pronounce it now let me tell let me come out because i need to go somewhere with this shit. i need to come i need to go somewhere with it now i'm i got my i got my motherfucking video up there and every motherfucking thing now since and i want to be clear about this since, and I'm going to show you that how, you know, it'd be KMT, this, that, and the third. Now, every language on the planet got its own vibes. 75% of the known world is using modern Latin as an alphabet, okay? The only thing that distinguishes each one of them languages from one another is the vowels that they add to the to that alphabet. That's it. That's that's how you get to, you know, the different languages. Is the vowels, but when you look at the the alphabet, 70 to 75% of the world is using the modern Latin alphabet. Okay? So, when you look at the Madunetta, you understand what I'm saying? It's KMT. But as soon as you add vowels to it, whatever language that you speak in, that's what language it becomes. So when you say, hey, Ru, or you say Horus, you understand? Because there's no hey, Ru. All of that is fraudulent. But it, it's really just the H and the R, okay? The H and the R. 
when you add the E and the U to it, you know what? Like, you know what it becomes? English. Whatever vowels you add to it to speak it, that's the language that you speak in. So motherfuckers come and say, Horace is Greek and hey Ruth is African. No, it's not. Nigga, you speak in English both times, nigga. Man, y'all some crazy motherfuckers, man. Any, and I'm gonna show you something. Let me show y'all something. Let me go to this motherfucker. And that's a fact. Any vowel, whatever language you speak in, if you add vowels to the magnet to speak it, you speak in that language the vowels belong to. If you take the vowels of French and add it to KMT to speak it, you are speaking French. If you take German vowels and add it to the KMT to speak it, whatever pronunciation come out your motherfucking mouth is German. Nigga, you're not speaking no ancient African. They done fooled you niggas again. Fool ass niggas. That's in, in, the, in the crazy shit and I'm getting to it. That's Latin. How the fuck, you, how the fuck did you jump from the glyphs to demotic to uh to uh Greek to Latin. See, when you write this shit out today, you write it in Latin. You know, you don't see how many cuts you didn't came down, and they say the, the Romans got their language from the Etruscans. So, how did you jump from Greek to Latin without showing us how the Latin developed from the Etruscans? So you left some shit out. So today they they just going from cut to cut to cut to cut to cut to cut. And you don't have no understanding on what the fuck is happening to you. But I got a video for y'all. Let me get this video. I want y'all to see this. I want y'all to see this. I want y'all to see this. Here we go. Right here. Right here. Right here. I want y'all to hear this. So when he, when you niggas start adding vowels and shit to this shit, I want y'all to I want y'all to hear this. I'm breaking that shit down today. Okay, this is video is called German language compared uh to other languages. Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me, I don't even want to hear that. Let me turn it up. As soon as it get past that, I'm going to play it for y'all. Here it go, y'all. Avion. Aeroplane. Aero. Avion. Truck, truck. Now, did you hear that? Now, that's all for airplane. Do you hear how the motherfucker word sound in each language? Listen to the vibes. Avion. Aeroplane. Aero. Avion. Truck truck. Now, I'm going to come back to that. Did you hear? Wait a minute. Did you hear that German? You see how hard his motherfucking language is compared to the rest of them? You understand what I'm saying? So if it's KMT. When that German add vowels, if he choose, he should not do it like the rest of them. The whole shit is fraudulent, but you shouldn't add vowels. So if the German added vowels, do you know how many different pronunciations to one motherfucking word you could have? How in the fuck? Is, see, that? Sh wait a minute. Let me, let me play some more. Surprise. 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 Sur Happyo. Butterfly. Farfalla. Mariposa. Schmetterling. Stilo. Pen. Pen. Plume. Kugelschreiber. Margarit. Daisy. Margarita. Margarita. Gänseblümchen. All right. I, I, you know, my point right there, that's my point. That, wait a minute, let me get back to the, uh, I hate when I lose, oh, there you go.
So that's what I'm saying right there. So if it's like in order to speak, you have to act. Do you know how many different vowel systems is on the planet? So if you add vowels to it, you could damn near have thousands of pronunciations for one word. Okay? You can have, and don't get it twisted. Okay? Don't get it twisted. It's still fraudulent without adding vowels. But the, when you add, you think you're doing something special, but in reality, you're going deeper in there, and that show not going to be division. That shit gonna show no be fucking division because it's gonna be a thousand motherfuckers thinking they know what they saying and ain't nobody gonna come to no type of unity on what the fuck it really is. The reality is it's only one fucking truth, okay? In the ancient time, whatever that king name was, even if he had five of them, his mama only named him one name. Okay, when at his birth, his mama named him a name, and she didn't name him 10,000 names, she didn't name him a thousand names, she didn't have no English or French or no fucking German or no other motherfucking vowel system in it. And we don't know the African vowel system, and you cannot take another African language. Africa got more goddamn languages than any continent on the planet. So that means that everybody got their own unique life. And even though they similar in all respects, they are still unique to every single nation and, and culture on the continent. So you can't take one and superimpose it on the other. Just like it's a thousand different languages, the Egyptians had their own unique language there, just the same. And you cannot take another African land and superimpose it without primary verification. And you lost that. See, you lost that. You understand what I'm saying? You lost that. You see, back when Egypt was, you know, and Egypt is still living, but the language as it was spoken by the nation is over with. It's not there. And so, yes, it's still bits and lots. And, you know, a lot of it still exists in spirit, but we're being technical today. I'm not talking about in spirit. We're being technical today. That it cannot be deciphered at all. And that what you have out here is felonious, fraudulent, fucking uh, bum rushing of a, a sacred language that do not belong to the European. Okay, now let me get back over here on this damn, on this damn uh, lecture and start cracking these niggas' heads some more. I'm not done. Not goddamn done. Let me get back over here. Look at this. So look, you got this so-called African king, Shoshak, Shoshink, okay, in English. Spelled S-H-O-S-H-E-N-Q-E. Now, the transliteration is S-S-N-Q. But when the English added the vowels, it became Shoshink. Go down to the German. Go down to the French. Go down to the Dutch. Go on over to the motherfucking Irish. Go on over to the Italian. You will see that it will be spelled a different way and pronounced a different way every fucking time. And then you got different dialects within the English. You got different dialects within the German. You got many, just like in America, shit. You got niggas that got the West Coast slang. You got damn down south slang. You got East Coast slang. You got uh, you got New Orleans slang. You got Midwest slang. So you got different dialects within the motherfucking language itself. So you can still get variations in English that is not because you can add any vowels you want. You see what I'm saying? Nobody could tell you that the vowels you added are wrong because it ain't even supposed to be none in it. Because so you could literally have thousands and thousands and thousands of fucking pronunciations and translations for one goddamn word. Man, y'all dumb. Man, it's over with. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking to y'all today. Let me keep it moving. Nah, we just went over a primary source. Okay, a primary source is a document 
or physical object which was studied or created during the time of study. Okay, so the damn translation of Champollion was not created during the during the time under study. Okay, it was not created during the time under study. So the fake transliteration of Champollion is not a primary reference. So I'm tired of y'all niggas acting like that shit y'all speaking is what the ancestors were speaking. I know your soul is righteous, family. I'm not I'm, I'm not the denoting the fact that your spirit is righteous, but we have to break the back of this fraudulent methodology to get the enemy up out of the temple, to get the enemy up out of the holy of holies. If you cannot understand that, huh? And your pride is, you know, is, is you know, being, you know, is in jeopardy and shit. And you put your pride before the, the truth. You understand what I'm saying? And, and the aspirations of the people, then shame on you. Shame on your ass. That's what you doing. These sources, when you're talking about a primary source, these sources was present during an experience or time period and offer an inside view of a particular event. What is a secondary source? A secondary source interprets and analyzes primary sources. These sources are one or more steps removed from the event. Okay, secondary sources may have pictures, quotes, or graphs of primary sources in them. Okay, some types of secondary sources include textbooks, magazine articles, histories, criticisms, commentaries, encyclopedias. All right, all right. This right here, this this presentation by Sarah Sun Sadi is a secondary source. I'm not, but I'm using primary references to make a hell of a motherfucking stance on these bitch motherfuckers who are not, they won't even tell you it's a secondary source. I'm not up here saying, God damn it, I know what, what the glyphs is saying. I didn't say that. You understand what I'm saying? If I say I see something on the wall and I make, uh, 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 it's an image. I say, okay, they got the same image as what I see in ancient Egypt. That's uh, That could be, uh, that could be validated based on putting the two primary sources up there. I didn't say I knew exactly what it mean. I can put a a, 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 a a basic understanding on it. You understand what I'm saying? Just like everybody else. But I don't do that. I put facts up there. I don't put my uh my 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 opinion or no shit like that. If I if I if I if I, if I got the facts, I'm gonna put it up. This is a fact, and I'm putting it right up there on your bitch. Primary verification. In an endorsement, okay. Er, when we talk about earliest in, when we talk about primary, earliest in time or order of development, okay. Verification: the process of establish establishing the truth, accuracy, or validity of something. So when I say primary verification, and I spelt that wrong, I get it together up there. I got it. Let me, matter of fact, let me straighten that out right now. I'll be typing so damn fast, okay? So when I say primary verification, that means being verified by the ancient Egyptian mystery system. That, that a priest, and since it's no longer, you understand, in existence in the way that it was in the ancient world, and that no one knows the, the understanding of the glyphs in the way that it was taught in the ancient world, that is no longer possible. You have no access to primary verification. So how the fuck can you verify yourself? Another, another synonym for primary is original, earliest, initial. You don't have the initial verification first. You see what I'm saying? You don't have that, okay? Now, standards, we, we talking about uh, some standards. It, 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 we talking about transliteration. Now, this is from, you understand what I'm saying, uh, the, the, the world of Egyptology, uh, understanding from the science of Egyptology. Important as trans, uh, uh, transliteration is to the field of Egyptology, there is no one standard scheme 
in use for hieroglyphs and heretic text. Did you understand that? There is no standard scheme in you for hieroglyphic and heretic text. Motherfuckers doing whatever the fuck they want to. One nigga got a system, another nigga got a system. So that right there show you there is no standard, okay? Some might even argue, listen to this, that there are as many systems of transliteration as there are Egyptologists. Ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a bitch? Just like I told you. You understand what I'm saying? That if it would, it's only one truth. How you got all these goddamn systems? How you got all these systems? And it's only one truth. See what I'm saying? That right there destroys the fact that they have never deciphered it because if they had truth, it would only be one motherfucking truth. However, there are a few closely related systems that are regarded as convention. Listen, many non-German speaking Egyptology use the system described in Gardner, 1954. A lot of white, you know, a lot of English speaking use the motherfucker Gardner. You know, and I know many niggas out there that's into know who Gardner is. He was still trained in Germany, nonetheless. Whereas many German speaking scholars tend to opt for the use in the uh this is the what that's in uh German is the uh Berlin Egyptian dictionary, okay, which was created by uh Adolf Ehrman and Grappa, 1926 to 1953. The standard dictionary of the ancient Egyptian language. However, there's a growing trend, even among English speaking scholars, to adopt a modified version of the method used in the German dictionary. So they're going back, even the English speaking uh, so called Egyptologists is going back to the German Jew version of the hieroglyphic system. OK, so right there, I didn't already prove what did what did it say? Important as transliteration is to the field of Egyptology. There is no one standard scheme in use for hieroglyphic and heretic text. Some might even argue that there are as many systems of transliteration as there are Egyptology. I'll be damned. And then you and then when you. Look at when you add vowels and the fact, like I said, once you fool yourself that is alphabetical, you most definitely ain't going to have niggas all over the place because you do not know what the truth is. And the truth is you cannot speak it because it's not alphabetical. Okay, now, what is the difference between a trend? Niggas want to argue that I can go into that. What is the difference between a translation? and a transliteration. A translation tells you the meaning of words in another language. A, transli a transliteration doesn't tell you the meaning of the word, but helps you to pronounce them. Transliteration changes uh, the letters from one alphabet or language into a corresponding, similar sounding character of another alphabet. Now, how can you make a transliteration of ancient Egyptian into Greek without hearing the language of the ancient Egyptians? How the fuck can you do that? See, I don't give a fuck what they say in translation. See, all of that is double talk. All of that is double talk. Okay, I didn't already did. Wait, what does that one say? Okay. Now, let's deal with this. Okay, let's let's deal with this. This is another rule of Egyptology. Due to the exact details regarding the phonetics of ancient Egyptian not being completely known, most transcriptions depend on Coptic for reconstruction or are theoretical in nature. Theoretical theory in nature. Egyptologists therefore rely on transliteration in scientific publication. What does that mean? When it comes to a scientific publication, they never add vowels because they know that shit could go all over the place. So they just spell it out, K-M-T, S-S-N-Q. They never pronounce it out. 
because you will be all over. The, that don't mean it's correct. But they know if they add the box, that's just another cut on another cut. And it's going to take them further and further and further into chaos. Y'all some dumb motherfuckers. I'm not talking to my family out there. I'm talking to the motherfuckers that teach this dumb shit. As acting like they don't know. And then try to niggify it. See, that's what they do. They niggify. That's just like sprinkling sugar on shit. See what I'm saying? Sprinkling sugar on shit, calling that, calling it Jello pudding. You understand what I'm saying? And niggas up there eating all that shit with sugar on it. You understand? Got sprinkles of sugar on it. Talking about, oh man, this the best fucking Jello pudding I ever had in my motherfucking life, bitch. That ain't no Jello pudding, nigga. That's sugar with shit on it. That's a uh, shit with sugar on it. However the fuck you want it, bitch. You understand? I don't know which one it is. It could be sugar with shit on it and shit with sugar on it. It don't make no motherfucking difference. Due to the exact detail regarding the phonetics of ancient Egyptian not being completely known, most Egyptologists therefore rely on transliteration in scientific publication. Therefore, we're talking about science now. Therefore, it is unscientific to speak it. Talking science today, baby. It's unscientific to speak it. Breaking backs, breaking backs, breaking backs. The only way a nigga can get, he's going to have to justify. He's going to, let me see where my, uh, I had to look at my damn uh, battery to make sure that motherfucker up there. Let me plug this motherfucker in. Let me plug this motherfucker in. I'm, I'm going to war today, family. I'm going to do, I'm going to war today. I'm just getting started, family. I'm trying to teach. How I'm doing out there, I'm looking at. Yeah, let them on in there, family. I see my moderators in there. How y'all doing, family? Don't make no difference, y'all. I'm a, I ain't even got to that smoke yet. Don't try to, don't try to make, don't try to put no sugar on shit out there now. I see you niggas out there in there in that goddamn chat room now. Yo, I ain't even started bringing that smoke on you, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? And so when we start, when they said th when they said our uh, theoretical, we I put all the definitions in it. So when we go back to this, it said due to the exact detail. Regarding the phonetics of ancient Egyptian not being completely known, most transcriptions depend on Coptic for reconstruction. You understand what I'm saying? That means like you didn't fuck some shit up and you had to reconstruct the nigga jawbone. It ain't the original jawbone, nigga. That ain't the original jawbone, nigga. That's a reconstruction, which means it's been, it's not the original. And then it says, or oh, are theoretical in nature. Let's go over here. What is theoretical? Concern, concern with or involving the theory of a subject or area of study, study rather than its practical application. So when you look at the top, you look at the synonym, what does theoretical mean? Assumed, presumed, untested, unproven, unsubstantiated. Well, I be damned. Well, I be damned. So that just let you know right there, all that jaw jacket. But let me let me go in deeper, family. Let me go in deeper. I know I already did that. Let me go in deeper. Let's start cracking jaw bones quick. Let me start cracking these jaw bones. Let me start cracking these jaw bones. Let me start. I'm gonna start right here. I'll go back up. I'll go back up to the uh, Rosetta Stone. Now, niggas want to talk about Walter Williams. Didn't know what he was. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Walter Williams, and I'm going to put him up on my shoulders tonight. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy. I say, I say, Grandmaster Teacher, let me use my fist today. You can use my fist and let me go in these niggas' mouth today. Okay? You can just lay back. And you know, and you relax, and you, I, I'm gonna use my fist 
to go in these niggas' mouth today, okay? We talking about the historical or origin of, of Christianity. Now, let's see if I can prove uh, what the Grand Master teacher, Walter Williams, said about the Madonna. Now, if you go into the appendix of that book, you will see why the Madonna hieroglyphics have never been deciphered, okay? Contrary to the teachings of Western institutions, the Madonna or hieroglyphics, which are the pictorial symbols of the ancient Egyptians, have never been deciphered. The following are the reasons. In order for the Medunetta, a hieroglyph, to have been deciphered, one would have to ask the ancient Egyptians, primary verification, who drew the symbol, what he, she meant for them to be. To illustrate my point, I would draw a symbol of my own creation. And so you see the symbol right there that the master teacher Walter Williams drew. And so I now ask you, what is the meaning of this symbol? Realistically, you cannot know until I provide you with the meaning. And that's fact. That right there is fact, nigga. That's a damn symbol. That ain't no goddamn. And so no one can put a phonetical alphabet, a phonetic alphabetical value to symbols. For, for example, the symbol of the question mark. Can you assign a phonetic alphabetical value such as the letters T, M, P, K, R, et cetera, to the question mark? The answer is no, because the question mark is telling you to do, is to, to something to do, to question, okay? It's telling you to question. So you can't put a, a letter next to the question mark and render the meaning. You got to know what the fuck the symbol mean. The symbol means to question. And no T, no M, no P, no K, no R, no out, no letter, no alphabetical letter will render the meaning to that symbol. Now, if you drive a car, you would test it in three categories: eyesight, rules of the road, and symbols. When you were tested for symbols, you will ask what the symbols were telling you to do. In order to know what the symbols are, telling one to do, one has to know the meaning of the symbols as standardized by the division of motor vehicle. If you did not know the meaning of the symbols, you failed the test. You failed the test. Also, one cannot use any language, Coptic, African, you understand, any other language as a key to understanding the symbols of the hieroglyphs. You cannot apply a language or languages to symbols that one does not know the meaning of. And this is what these Negro Polians will do. They will try to put an African language on. It don't make it no difference. It's still a symbol. And if you do not have the legend, the key to them symbols, you cannot add an African, European, Asian, or no other language to them symbols and render the meaning. So you Negro Polians, I'm putting your ass on blast today. So you thinking you putting sugar on shit by adding some African to the sham, sham. And the motherfucker put the sham down. The sham pelly on motherfucking fraudulent methodology. Okay, now I'm gonna come in here deeper. I'm gonna work that, I'm gonna work that for a minute. Okay, what do these symbols mean? I put up two symbols. Without a legend or key, it is impossible to know. I got the I got these symbols up here. Anybody in? I'm in the chat room. I'm, I'm in the chat room. Anybody want to tell me what them symbols mean? One person put a battery. Okay. Let me see what it means. Anybody know what this symbol means? Throw it up there. We'll see. Anybody know what this symbol? I have no idea. Very good, baby. Have no clue. Y'all ready to learn. See? You ready. You open yourself up to know the truth. You said the sun. Okay, you took a guess. You, you took a guess. All right, let me move on. Do anybody want to guess what these symbols in? Uh-huh. 
Well, nigga said it was a pot. I do. You might know if you watch my last one, nigga. Yeah, you might know if you watch my last one. But that, that just just let you know that you had to have the, la the legend to get it. If you know what it is, put it out there. Some people say it's an antenna. It very well may be. It very well may be. Okay? Okay, let me move on. What are they? Phone on pickups. Okay, it's a wiring. Both of you niggas, it wasn't a goddamn battery. It was a phone on pickup, a crystal. One was crystal. One was magnetic. Okay? Phone on Phone, phone no pickups. The other one is a plug or a socket. Okay. The other, these are antennas. Okay. So you, somebody saw my last one. But other than, but you got what I'm saying is, you got the legend. If I didn't show you the legend, you wouldn't goddamn know unless you was an electrician and you would have still knew the legend. You see what I'm saying? So right there, these are antennas. Okay. The last, oh. Uh, did I do anybody? I already did these. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You saw my last one. So, nigga, you had the legend already. Don't act like this shit ain't been up before, nigga. You studied my shit, nigga. But that's good. That's good. Anybody want to guess what these symbols is? Anybody want to guess what these symbols is? When somebody said UFO, come on with it. Let's we teaching now, energy guy. It might be some in, but that ain't exactly what it is. Come on. You say you saw it on, yeah, one of them you did. Don't, don't look at the one that was a socket or a plug. You ain't got to look at that. Okay, let me move on. Wait a minute, where did it go? And then added something to that. I think it was down here. Let me go down here. I done moved out of it. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to come over here. See these symbols? Now, I dare one of y'all motherfuckers to bust these out. What do these mean? What do these symbols mean? And come on now. What do these symbols mean right here? Let's get to work. If you read blueprints, you know you that you you an engineer, so you know you understand what I'm saying. But you still got the legend. It ain't like you looking at and you ain't got no legend. Because if you ain't got no goddamn legend, you not gonna guess what these motherfuckers is. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. Okay, the ones right there are uh, route marker lighter lights, marker lights, uh, corner reflectors, a uh, reinforced route section. Okay, company CP, battalion CP. Okay, let me come over here. So when you look at these are military uh uh symbols. Okay, you look at the top one. You know with the uh four arrows bouncing Betty mine. Okay, you come down. Uh, very explosive charge. Okay, the third one decoy flare and radar decoy. Oh, you now look at that with the pyramid with the dot in it. You understand Obs observation pose. Then you look up under the patrol. So what I'm saying is, look now how when you look at the meanings of those symbols, how by placing a letter next to them symbols is it going to render the meaning? J yeah. I see JP86 say I took up, and then those, those were electric uh, symbols. So, again, he would have had some insight on that. And that's that's 100. But he studied it because he knew the legend. And so that's how you're going to know the symbol. But if you don't have no legend, if you wasn't an electrician, you wouldn't have known what the fuck them goddamn symbols is. Okay? Battalion CP, you have to look that up. You know what I'm saying? It's a military, uh, uh, a, a, a military term. So the question, the question becomes: How by putting letters on these symbols will you have rendered the meaning? Okay, you cannot put a letter 
on these symbols and render the meaning. Now, let me come down. Oh, here goes some down here. Now, that's just like that's just like these Masonic symbols. Can you put letters on the Masonic symbols and render the meaning? Can you put the letters on Masonic symbols and render the meaning? You can't. No different than you can with the ancient Egyptian. Okay, let me come down here. Let me come down here. I'm going to read the rest of Walter Williams. I'm going to read the, the rest of Walter Williams. I got some more, but I'm going to get into that tomorrow. After 44 years of widespread disagreement among the European scholars, okay, I'm, I'm going to come past that. Sean Pollyon's accepted work on the hieroglyphs inspired Adolf Or Matter of fact, I'm not going to do this today. Because that's gonna deal with uh, that's gonna deal with the uh, that's gonna deal with the Egyptology, and I don't want to deal with that. So tomorrow, when I come back, I'm gonna get I'm gonna deal with the Rosetta Stone itself. We're gonna break that down and show you what they did not do. I could I could give you a motherfucker a quick preliminary, and it's gonna be devastating. You know. You see what I'm saying? But I don't want to get off into it today because even looking at, I'm going to just show you one to show you where I'm going with. If you look at the top, that's the Greek, that's the supposed Greek that's on the Rosetta Stone. But you niggas will never see that. You see how they got let, how they quickly, they transfer it to Latin. And so you see Ptolemy's, but do you see Ptolemy in Latin? And you see the difference between, then Ptolemy and the goddamn Greek ain't no Latin on the Rosetta Stone. So they really fucking, uh, they really, you know, playing with niggas' mind and shit. You know what I'm saying? When you see how many letters, it's more letters in the top Greek than in the goddamn Latin. And they supposed to say the same motherfucking thing. And then you got eight symbols in the cartouche and you got 10 fucking letters outside the goddamn cartoon you see what i'm saying it don't match up you see what i'm saying so i'm just getting i'm just getting warmed up family this my warm up day this my warm up day you see what i'm saying so i proved today number one number one number one that you know that they have no primary evidence on modern day you ain't even supposed to speak it okay that's that's clear i'm sick of that you ain't even and that's fraudulent too N no matter whether you write it or whether you speak it but anytime you speaking it that no that lets you know you're going deeper deeper and deeper into chaos okay even if you just you still chaotic because there's no way and i'm gonna I'm going to straighten it up for tomorrow. I'm going to get it so motherfucking titty tight for tomorrow. Nigga, I'm coming harder than I, I'll kick the dough in today. The dough is in because I put actual facts up there. You see what I'm saying? It, you cannot put no motherfucking alphabet on symbols and render the mean, number one. Okay? And even in the fake Champelion methodology, you ain't even supposed to be speaking it. You understand what I'm saying? And and they and they told motherfuckers on fr up front, it's un unscientific to speak it. They don't speak it in in science Egyptology. Scientific. They just spell it out. That you do not see them speaking it. Even when I got to the Rosetta Stone, the book, uh, uh, Wireless Bug. You couldn't even, when he left it in there just like that. Trans, you couldn't, and I, I, I got it in there. And if you see that shit, how it just consonants, <laughs> right? You wouldn't know what the, for that shit look like a bunch of jerbish. You understand what I'm saying? It don't, it, you can't make no, 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 no science of it. You see what I'm saying? So that shit is unscientific. It is not the language of our ancestors. It's a fraudulent language, okay? And I'm going to prove that even greater tomorrow. 
and then it might be three days. You see what I'm saying? All we're improving some hard, some hard shit, which is really the foundation of what people is using today. So if you cannot put an, a ladder on it, the, then Champollion is destroyed. He, he did what he should not have done. You see what I'm saying? He did what he should not, and I'm gonna prove it tomorrow that they they you know they created a fraudulent to steal the history of ancient Egypt and to act like they got more uh, understanding of ancient than we do, and we are the direct descendants of the ancient Egypt. We are the ancient the living ancient Egyptians is us. We are those people, and they acting like they got more of a command over the, the understanding of ancient Egypt than us. And so we cannot continue to add on to that garbage. We cannot. We cannot. We must destroy that. Destroy and rebuild. Get the beast up out of the sanctuary. If they out there, if they're not making a move like that, because there's no way. I'm going to ask you again. All you have to do is ask them. If they're teaching the matter, matter ask them. Is they using the Champollion methodology? And if they not, I would like to know which one. Because if you do not have the legend, I'm going to go over it again. It's not an alphabet. It's an esoterical language. Do you know how many glyphs is in the, the, the Egyptian hieroglyphic system? Over 5,800 that were common, commonly used. So how the fuck? Do you think you gonna take and, and, and you make it 26 just so it fit the Latin language? How the fuck do you take 26 supposed symbols out of 5,000 and then explain the rest of them by the fucking 26? I'm, I wanna know how you did that. You understand what I'm saying? And I, but to, this is the first day, family. I'm gonna get black with you again tomorrow. Hitting hard. Have to pull it out. Have to continue to move forward. Okay. Have to have to continue to move forward. Get these whole ass. I know they mad. I I know y'all mad. Get their ass up out of there. Ain't never coming up off of these niggas. No. No way, no how. I know they mad. If they can prove it, tell them to bring it up here and prove. Tell them how do they prove what's a vowel, what's a consonant. Tell me what methodology they use it. Tell them to put it up here in front of the people. Can I get my can I get my grade for the day, family? I know they mad. Teddy, whenever you coming off all of these niggas. Teddy, when you come, ever coming up all of these niggas. Teddy, is you ever coming up all of these niggas. Can I get a can I get a grade for the day, family? Well, did you get something out of it? And I'm gonna step back up tomorrow, family. We're not done. I'm gonna I'm gonna take today and add on tomorrow. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna take from the day and add on tomorrow. That's right. That's right. All right, family. I love you. Black Power. Be back in class tomorrow because I'm gonna set their ass on fire a motherfucking game. This is the General Sarah Sutton said he's saying, hey. Arm yourself with knowledge. Bang on that wicked ass beast daily. Liberation through African education and confrontation. Black motherfucking power. Boom.